A young man walked into a store to buy a leather pouch for his mobile device. He found two identical ones which were the same color, the same size, design, and quality. The only difference was that one had the Apple logo on it and the other did not. For this difference, the one with the logo was $2 more expensive. In other words, he will be paying $2 extra just for the logo. This trend where an item cost because of the designer brand in it is very common. They are referred to as designer label. A designer label generally refers to clothing and other personal accessory items sold under an often prestigious name. Examples include labels such as Kenneth Cole, Gucci, Tommy Hilfiger, Armani, Calvin Klein, Eclectic, Louis Vuitton, Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Nails & Stitches, Chanel, Miu Miu, and much more. Their names and logos could be found on clothes, perfumes, bags, footwear, jewelry, wristwatches, phones, sunglasses, and much more. A lot of young people are inspired to wear certain labels because of prevailing trend, which could be as a result of prevailing fashion habits or endorsements by their favorite celebrities. My favorite designer label, uh, good old Calvin Klein. <laughs> Classic. Anytime, anywhere, perfume, handbag, whatever, belt, suits, dinner, red carpet dresses, classic. I actually don't have a favorite designer label. I, anything that fits that looks good, you know? A couple of the no names, Christian or Dijon and all of that, but there's really no favorite for me. Do I have a favorite? I wear everything. As long as it fits me, Ferragamo, um, Zara for Ma Zara Man. Um, I think right now, what I'm really, really feeling is Zara Man. Um, none. I wear everything. Anything that comes my way. As far as it fits, I'm fine. I'll go with what I'm wearing. I, I love Echo. Yeah, and my Echo because um, I like um, I like the the jean cut. You know, I like their shirts as well and stuff. And they're different, and they've been they've been there way back from the '90s. You know when hip-hop was coming on don't know seriously i don't i, I know tommy gavin klein all those other things but i might be wearing a tommy shirt now not know i'm wearing a tommy shirt so i'm wearing a Kevin klein and not know i'm wearing a Kevin klein shirt i don't pay lots of attention to that but i do re believe that if it fits if it looks good then it's fine um if you say right now, my favorite design would have to be Versace, Gianni Versace. Um, it makes clothes that, you know, they kind of just hug you, you know, you just clothes that you can feel good about yourself. You don't need to tell anybody you're wearing Gianni Versace. They just, they just know. It might interest you to know that some Nigerian artists prefer to rock their own label. For example, Rugged Man, who wears his September 20th, Sound Soul Tan rocks his Nigerian Ninja clothing line. Hmm, sometimes the girl of the worst. And you know, say Obetodu, a roller bar, a roller killer. So that kind of issue, you'd know they they had uh, spent some maybe some ice on it, spent some other stuff on it. So you know, nobody every time they can see if pick up for see. I just try to be different. That's why I always try to go for stuff that are not you know mass production and everything. So, that's why I do my own stuff. So you never catch it with any other man. The band lives it up with his cocoa wear. First Lady Sasha also rocks eclectic and still wraps it up in his needle and stitches apparel, while some just love to wear their made in Nigeria items. Uh, most times I even love wearing what most of my friends here in Nigeria make. I do that often. I wear more of Nigerian stuff. Even if it's a shirt and it's made by a Nigerian. I even have a friend, Elifidia, he's into shirts, jeans, jackets and things like that. I have a Charles Toy, I have uh, Chris and Steve, different guys. You know, that make, some people make t-shirts, some make shirts, some make native outfits, suits. I love Nigerian stuff, so it's not that I have a favorite kind of... Uh, there's this young guy in my hood that I wear a lot of his shirts. He makes for the street, it's called Splash. I wear a lot of Splash and um, if I have to wear things like this, I actually go for ATM. You know. Entertainer, the band loves to step out in Okunore made suits, and the host for the 2009 Hip Hop World Awards, Banky W, rocks clothes sense. Olu Maintain is a regular patron of needles and stitches. <laughs>
and more celebrities are embracing truly Nigerian labels like Emmy Collins, Teslo, Ouch, Clothes and Mai, Dakova, Tiffany Amber, Diola Sego, ZZ Carter, Remy Lagos, Moody, and Sophistica. We spoke to some local label owners to find out if designer items are really worth their price or people are just paying more to show off their logo and live it up. What, what me I'm after I'm particular about is the good, is the finishing of the of the outfit that Matt has more time, but most Nigerians want, want to pay for the label. It's, it's what a designer chooses, it's a name at which a designer chooses to identify his um, products or clothing line with. You know, they give you a price, okay, this is the fixed price for it, pay 100,000 for your life. Who are you? Are you Prada? Are you Needles and Stations? Are you this blah 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 blah? So the name matters a lot, the label matters a lot. My prices are relatively fair. But then again, some, some particular items are expensive because, just like I said, it depends on the inputs put into that particular clothing line or clothing item that already determines the price. And I think also location matters too, it depends on where you're located, where you're producing from, the cost of production. Basically, it does depend on it, like I said, it depends on the input put into a particular um, outfit or line. So next time you see your favorite entertainer step on the red carpet or hit the stage to perform, he might just be wearing an Oswald Bolton jacket or clothes and shirt or wearing an ouch tie or a pair of pants by Mai. Oh, the ladies? Don't be surprised if the gown you're dying for was made by Zizi or De La Sego. What are you still looking for shopping in Paris and London? You can sure live it up the Nine Jazz style.